to the community. In our story, we have an author page. And in your author page, we're going to create a text effect so that when it looks like you're writing your signature. Uh, so students did a pretty good job of creating their characters. I'm going to use Raymond as an example. And I'm going to go into After Effects. I'm going to hit Command N for a new composition. I'm going to call this Author page. Author. Hit OK. And I'm going to bring in uh, his... I'm just going to click and drag in the file. So now I have the file here. Or you can go to File Import and then import the file. Uh, then I'm going to hit a background of a white. Command Y. Hit OK. Now I have a white background. And then I'm going to drop Ray right on top of that background. So there's from an author page. I'm going to stick him right there. Now I'm going to hit Command. I'm going to click on the first layer under Ray. Command click, New, and choose Text. Next I'm going to be placing a text layer by control clicking on the first layer Ray. And then New Text. And I'm going to put by enter ray. And you can choose the size of the text on the right side here by just um, selecting your text and scrubbing through this right here. And if you want to move it, um, you can do that as well. Um, now you need to select a handwritten uh, font. Um, so I'm going to use complete in him. And I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Okay, and I'm going to move that over here. Okay, so now we have our text. Um, if you change if you change right here, you can change the distance between the top and the bottom. So I did that. And we're good. Okay, so after we have the text, and if you can't find any text that you want, you can always um, double go to the white solid layer down here, and then you can uh, double click that layer, or control double click. Control double click on that layer, and it'll bring you up to here, and you can go to the brush tool. And then you could just um, like make your font by like that. So up to you uh, what you want to do. So I'm going to go back to my composition. So what we're going to do now is select the text ray and go to effects. We're going to go generate and stroke. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in to my text so I can see a little bit better. And now I have to do the tedious part of tracing it with the pen tool. Now, what you can do is like click, click, and then I'm going to go here and hold down my click. Or maybe maybe halfway to get more of a rounded um, part. Now, if you notice, um, if I click here, it doesn't really give me the circle I want. So what you can do is take this and you can move it over. I'm going to move it over right about there and then go to right about there. And then you can command click off of it and then you can start a new uh, stroke. Um,
Now, if you get a long uh, guide like this, just take the end of the guide, click it, and then you can drag it over and use that as part of your and then click as the pen tool. And then I'm going to command click. I'm almost done. Again, I'm going to take this, move it over to the direction that I want. go. I'm going to extend the Y a little bit more. I want it to stroke out like this cool looking thing. Okay, if you hold on the space bar, you can grab and move your area down. Okay. And if you want to move your points, just hit V on the keyboard and then you can move these points you want to adjust them. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, on the left side you're going to select um, paths and then you're going to select all mass. Okay, so click on all mass. And then for the uh, color, choose a color that you want to have as a brush stroke. So I'm going to choose this blue color and then increase your brush size so it gets um, a more thickness to it. I'm going to click on for paint style, reveal original image. I'm gonna, just so you can see it if you want to see it. Okay. <clears throat> uh, and next, um, if you go to the end over here, you can sc um, scrub through and notice how it's writing it for us. So I'm going to scrub through all the way so there's nothing at zero for the end. I'm going to hit the stopwatch move it out maybe one or two seconds and then move out the end 